So here's the thing. Life lives up to our expectations. If you expect to fail, you'll fail. If you expect to succeed, you succeed. Your expectations of yourself, your beliefs, what you deem to be true, is built in early childhood. So you form your beliefs in early childhood based on what you hear from your parents or your guardians and from the, your experiences, whatever it is you've experienced. So now that you understand how beliefs are formed, you can be more mindful about the kind of beliefs you're setting up for your children. So what things about themselves are you teaching your children to believe to be true? What kind of expectations do you hold for them, which will now become their which will then become their inner voice um, and what they tell themselves and what they expect from life for themselves. So if you raise your children with respect, if you are respectful towards your children, then that's what will be their reality. They will believe themselves worthy of respect and will expect respect from others. Where the focus goes, the energy flows. So when your children are expecting to be respected, that's what they will get. When children feel loved and respected, they'll give that in return also. And so you will gain their respect by respecting them. And not just you, they'll grow in respect to all people. They will become well-behaved children who willingly respect others and who come to expect respect in return. They'll be respectful to other children, they'll be respectful to animals, they'll be respectful to all living beings, if that's what you if that's what you teach them is expected of them. And then if they do misbehave, show them your shock, your your surprise, your concern. Because because you would never expect that from them. You'll be surprised and shocked when they misbehave because that's not their normal and that's not what you expect to see. If you only expect good behavior, that's what you'll get. And you can just do away with any thoughts of punishments, um, reward charts, anything that's going to give your child the idea that you're actually expecting misbehavior. Because that's the message that rewards charts give. Reward charts tell your child that the misbehavior is the normal and whenever they behave well you're so surprised that you are rewarding them and giving them some kind of a treat uh, to, to try and encourage the good behavior. But you don't need to encourage good behavior. Good behavior is the default. Good behavior is what you expect. That doesn't mean you don't praise your children though. Whenever your children are really, really good children, it's nice to let them know that you've noticed. When you do something nice, it's like it's nice to be thanked for it, isn't it? It's nice whenever people are grateful because, you know, you're being kind, even if that is just your normal. It feels good to be appreciated. So I always make sure to thank my children whenever they do things for me and, you know, when they tidy their room because I explain to them that even though, you know, it is expected within our family that we'll keep our space tidy and clean, I still really appreciate whenever they take the time and do it. If they're especially kind to younger siblings, and not even especially kind, just ordinarily kind, I thank them for that too, just to let them know that I really appreciate them. Showing gratitude and giving them praise when praise is due isn't the same as a reward chart. It's just not the same. We always say thank you. I encourage them to say please and thank you. It's good manners and it's nice to be appreciated. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that we don't expect these behaviors anyway. We still expect people to be kind to us. We still expect people to be polite to us and we can still thank them for doing so. So it's just a simple, hey, I, I noticed that awesome thing that you did. That was really great. Thank you.